Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my skincare routine for oily textured skin. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I take off my makeup that I'm wearing right now and what skincare products that I use. So I do currently have on a full face of makeup, so we're just going to jump right in. So the first thing I'm doing is taking my Makeup Melt by Bliss, and this is a dry, wet, gentle jelly cleanser. And I like this cleanser because you can use it either dry or wet, and I like to take it dry into my hands. I take about three pumps of this, and I put it directly onto my face. So I did not wet my hands. I did not wet my face, nothing. I just put it directly onto my skin, and I like using it like this because I feel like it really breaks up the makeup and really takes off everything, all those layers of foundation, powder powder, concealer, highlight. It just takes off everything. So I rub that into my skin until I feel like I've gotten all of the makeup off of my skin. And while you're using it dry, I feel like it just really cleans deep into your pores because this is acting as a cleanser and a makeup remover as well. So I just work that into my skin really, really well. And then I take my hands and I wet them a little bit and then I continue to work that into my skin. So it's called a dry wet cleanser for a reason because now you're using it wet, it's more emollient and it's actually acting as a facial cleanser to make sure you got all of that makeup out of your skin. So my skincare routine might seem excessive to you guys, but I promise it's good. So now I'm going in with my Neutrogena Deep Clean Facial Cleanser for normal to oily skin after I rinse my face clean from that other cleanser. And I just like to take this and rub it all over my face as well, doing another cleanse of my skin. And this cleanser does have salicylic acid in it. And I love to use salicylic acid on my skin because I do have oily skin and I am prone to clog pores. And salicylic acid is great for acne and clog pores and oily skin as well. It really helps to balance out your skin. So I just rub that in for about a minute and then I rinse my skin clean with this and then Hold on, I'm going to give y'all some time to just watch me cleanse my face. Oh, yeah, and make sure you're cleansing your neck as well. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this clean, and then I'm going to take my super inexpensive spin brush. This is from Conair, and I got it from Walmart for $15. But again, while my face is still wet, I'm going to take another pump of that cleanser, and I'm going to cleanse my skin again. So you can kind of say that I clean my skin about three times in my skincare routine, but I'm just taking my spin brush and that cleanser and I am making sure to get all of the areas of my face, my cheeks, my forehead, my nose, and using a spin brush if you have textured or oily skin is really beneficial because it's really going to clean deep down into your pores. And like I said, my skincare routine might seem a little bit excessive to you guys because I do clean my skin technically three times, but I'm gonna show you guys why I clean my skin so much. So all that makeup that I had on my my face when I show you guys my spin brush it's essentially going to be clean there's not going to be any makeup on my spin brush and that's how I like it so that lets me know that I'm really thoroughly cleansing my skin even before the spin brush touches my face so as you guys can see it is clean so I go ahead and I rinse my face and then I like to dry my face with a paper towel. I know most people like using face towels but paper towels do me just fine and I just blot it dry and then I'm going to move on to my actual skincare products. So the first thing that I like to do is take my Neutrogena Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. And I just like to make sure that I got all of the makeup from around my eye area because I don't like really putting cleansers directly onto my eyeball area. So I'm just making sure I got all of that excess mascara and eyeliner and everything from off of my eyeballs. And I'm going to show you guys the um, makeup remover cleansing cloth to show y'all like Hey, I still be having leftover makeup residue on my eyes. So I just like to take that and clean it off. And then I'm going to go in with my Dickinson's Original Witch Hazel 100% All Natural Pore Perfecting Toner. I cannot recommend this enough. I put a little bit onto a cotton pad and I just make sure to wipe that across my entire face. And I feel like this is the reason why my skin is more balanced and healthy and it has like a natural glow. I just take that all over my face as well as down and around my neck area. Do not forget your neck area. Always hit that area. So now I'm taking my vitamin C serum and this is by the brand Mad Hippie. 
And this vitamin C serum is amazing. It is basically all natural. Like it has the most natural ingredients ever. And I just like to take about a dropper full of that. And I like to put it over my entire face and neck, of course. And I just like to smooth that in. And I feel like this is the reason why my skin looks a lot brighter and healthier. You know, vitamin C is very good for smoothing your skin and brightening and tightening your skin, making it look very youthful. So I just like to rub that in. And then I also like to pat it into the skin to make sure that it's actually sinking down into my pores because that's where you need it. So it can repair your skin and make your skin look healthy and glowy. So then I like to go in with an eye cream and this one is by Alginus and this is actually a sample size eye cream that I got in a Sephora play box but it's going to last me forever because you don't need much of this and I know a lot of dermatologists say that you do not really need an eye cream. Your face moisturizer can work as your eye cream but I just like to be proactive and I use an eye cream. Okay so I like to smooth that around my entire under eye area as well as on top of my lid as well as the inner and outer space of my eye I make sure to get the entire eye area with that eye cream and I'm being really gentle it looks like I'm being kind of rough but I'm actually being really gentle with this and then of course we cannot forget about the lips your lips are skin too so I like to take my Vaseline lip therapy rosy lips and I am literally almost out of this but I just like to take that and smooth it on my lips and I feel like it gives me really nice rosy juicy looking lips So now for my face moisturizer, I'm using the Origins High Potency Nitamins Oil-Free Resurfacing Cream with fruit-derived AHAs. And I feel like this is another reason why my skin is not as textured and bumpy as it used to be because I use this every night and I just apply a couple of dots around my face. And I make sure to work one area at a time with this moisturizer because I really want to make sure that I am getting the entirety of my face with this. I really like to smooth it in. And I feel like I wake up with really smooth, nice, healthy looking skin because of this. I love using this. This is a product that, I mean, I 100% recommend. It's a little bit pricey, a little bit more pricey than the rest of the products that I've been using. But I feel like it's 100% worth it because it has definitely made a difference in my skin. And I cannot be without this in my skincare routine. So I'm all done with my routine, you guys. So now I'm about to show you what my skin looks like. So y'all, this is what my skin is looking like directly after doing my entire skincare routine. So, like my skin is not perfect by any means, you know what I'm saying? I still have dark spots and I still have little tiny bumps on my skin, but it's nothing like how it used to be. Like, I remember when I used to put highlighter on my cheeks, like I would have so much texture and it would stand out so much. You know, and then also when I would put foundation on my forehead, it would just be so bumpy. And my skin isn't like that anymore. And I really think it's because I actually have a skincare routine now. And I actually take better care to use products to work with my skin and work for my skin. So, yeah, this is what my skin is looking like. And I'm really happy with it because honestly, like to me, my skin looks great. It looks like it has a natural healthy glow like I feel like I'm glowing you know and I never had a problem going out without makeup on like I'm just not that person I've never had that issue but I just feel like my skin is just great without makeup so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my skincare routine for oily textured skin. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Everything that I use will be in the description box, including what I use for in the morning time because I'm doing this as my get unready with me type of skincare routine. So I'm not showing my products that I use in the morning, but it's really only three things like two moisturizers that I swap between and then a facial spray from Mario Badescu so it's really not a lot so yeah like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any videos that I post and I'll see you guys in the next one peace